Hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO BrickHeads review, and this one is on the Star Wars The Force Awakens ones that were just released. In the of which are Finn and Captain Phasma. And which are exclusive to Toys R Us, if you're wondering, and yeah. So on the front of the boxes you see LEGO logo, BrickHeads logo, and a picture of the set that comes within Star Wars logo, the names and exclusive and the number. And see age group, uh, set number, name again, and the amount of pieces. Signs of which are some nice portraits of them. And, yeah. and on the back shows how to put it on the base, and the two main two that are, are there. And yeah. And down to the booklets. See, same picture as pictures that were on the front and everything. Uh, I'm just going to show one. Back went on the online survey. All the pieces included with it. And the two advertising the two sets that there are. And the final building steps. And now, on to the sets. First off is Finn, and the legs of which built kind of like the Iron Man one, but with all black and white to them, and and well, for the back of which, the two little uh, black studs to represent the ports for the Stormtrooper armor. No. The front torso print, which is well done, kind of similar to the Iron Man ones, well, and also Batman one and stuff, with this as with all these and a tile as a belt, but also has some good printing to it. Well, Captain Phasma will have the same kind of print, but on different color and whatnot, and yeah. And the uh, um, Brick in the for the chest, which is printed and all, and yeah. In the face of which, see the like dark brown or skin color black. Well, in tiles and things, which do work all right, and the same exact ear effect like the other ones have, and a lot of exposed studs to represent the hair or hair and all. And yeah. And then here is a good little comparison of the last of the most of last year's buildable figure sets, like a Finn and Stormtrooper. Then, as you can see, the uh, Stormtrooper figures, the see the torso printing and whatnot, kind of match up a bit. And so does the fin one. Yeah. I think could have worked with the uh, resistance fin, but whatever. Maybe they will later on over time. But also have a nice little blaster there, kind of like he does in the opening of the film, and not much else to say. But oh, and also. Have the base piece pieces, uh, which are just about like the Ninjago movie ones, just the symbol and exclusive. But it'll say two on the series two ones when they get released. And that is it with Finn. And now on to Captain Phasma. Kind of all right for one. The, the, the links of which. Built quite similar to Finn's, well, everything which is similar to Finn's, well, since of which kind of a leader one. And the belt piece, just about the same, but but like in this gray color and it's silver printing, kind of interesting. And same blaster build as Finn did. But the helmet of which 
is what a lot of people kind of are kind of disgusted about. Yeah. But I think kind of captures it a bit, but yeah. But it has some nice uh, curvedness details to it. But it's an alright snap technique to the bottom part of it. And also a good view all around. Some good use of the sloping pieces, but also a couple for the uh, cape wardrobe thing. But the only good thing about this brick head is those pink uh, kind of pieces, which are just like the main head pieces, but cut down to just two studs to the side. Kind of nice, quite nice for marking. And there's to the back and whatnot. And now on to another comparison with last year's little figure cat phasma. As you can tell, the shaping of it kind of alright, or kind of matches a bit, but you know, also the blasters and the cape thing, and yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. And now, and if you're probably wondering, like, if Captain Phasma is not so good of a brickhead, then why bother getting it? Right. Well, honestly, just for completion of the brickhead's word, or just for completion, which I'm sure you all probably get. But if they put out another one, that also isn't, I may not get it, but for now this is the only one that is, but don't care, I'll have it anyways. So now, final verdict on these. Well, these, alright, Brickheads, good way to, or an alright way to start off the Star Wars part of Brick, the Brickheads line. And if you see these at your near Toys R Us, then go ahead and get them. And look forward to more in the future, and... That is it with this video, and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.